My name is Joseph Anderson and this is RM University's 90 day jumpstart program. Today is day 29. We talked last week about planning and the importance thereof and I want to talk a little bit more specifically about that of how to prioritize and do the things that are most important and also how to avoid procrastination. So first off, guess what? Every single day you have the opportunity to have 24 hours in a day. No more, no less. So if you want more time, you're not getting it. If you want less time, you're not getting it. But the one way to, to feel like you have more time is definitely to plan and schedule as we talked about before. But when you really think about your priorities, what are they? What are your main projects that you're working on? What are the main areas of your life that you're spending time? And how much time are you giving to the most important things? Now, as you think about it, you think about, especially if you're in school and college, you think about all the fun activities that there are. I know when I was at school, I, I kind of went way too far on the other end of just going out and having fun and playing and enjoying life. And we had a sand volleyball court at the place I lived and we would play till 10, 11, 12 at night and wake up at 9 a.m. So I'm not saying that I was perfect in any of these things, but I know that that cost me a great deal. It cost me my grades. It cost me my potential professional opportunities. It cost me in so many different ways that I can't even begin to describe. As opposed to being in control of myself and saying, you know what, I'm gonna spend an hour a night playing volleyball as opposed to an incredible amount of time. But at the time, I was, so, I was so obsessed with just going out and having fun. You know, finding people to hang out with, to spend time with. And so I, I lost a lot of time, and I wasted a significant amount of time. Now, don't get me wrong, I had a great time doing it, but I paid a significant cost. When I graduated school, for some of the top positions that I was interested in, they weren't interested in me, and I had a pretty decent GPA but I had to have the next level of GPA for the areas of my life that at the time I was looking at going. Now I think everything does work out in the end, but prioritization, prioritization of your life will change everything. And also procrastination, as I once heard Anthony Robbins say, is the silent killer. It's that thing that Satan is constantly in your ear saying, you know what, this is hard, this is challenging. You should just stop. Go play Xbox or go, you know, go do something else insignificant and unimportant. And why does he say that? The same reason that he tempted Joseph Smith in the sacred grove and he attacked him? Because he knows the good that you can do if you prioritize your life. So where are you today? How much, if you're really honest with yourself, what percentage of time would you say is spent in the greatest priorities of your life? Now, what percentage of time is spent in the things of procrastination and the things that really don't matter? If you look at these numbers, a lot of times people are shocked and amazed to realize that most of their life is spent outside of their major priorities. I mean, even if you spent 70% to 80% of your time in your major priorities, where would your life be a year from today? And on the flip side, if you don't start spending the majority of your time in your priorities, where's your life going to be a year from today? You see, there's the carrot and the stick. The carrot is pleasure and the stick is pain. And if you don't learn how to utilize that in your life, it can be a source of great frustration and a lot of pain. Now, I want to encourage you to write down right now your top five priorities. If you need more than that, feel free to write down a few more and then rank them in order from what is the absolute most important thing for me to be spending my time on right now. And after you've done that, right next to it, write the percentage of time you're actually spending in that particular area. And, and I realize that you know some of your, your numbers are going to be really ballparked. That's fine. That's totally fine. But don't allow Satan to force you to procrastinate. And, better yet, not forced, but he encourages us to procrastinate. Why? Because as it says in the Book of Mormon, he wants us all to become miserable like himself. 
And do you know what mis being miserable is? It's sitting around doing nothing productive. Growth is what brings happiness. And being productive and serving in life, that's what brings happiness. When you look at the brethren and the level of prioritization they must have in their lives in order to keep the schedules that they have. And it's incredible and amazing to see that. Now, I encourage you to do this. Really sit down and think about what it's going to cost you if you don't decide to change today and if you're already on a great track to keep up that awesome track. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode of RM University. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.